Michael Katunas, you're director of Credit Suisse Middle East, um, and uh, your particular concern these days, I understand, is uh, institutional investors. What's going on? Indeed. Um, pretty much um, more than half of the discussion we're having with corporates, real estate corporates in the region, is all about how they can structure products, projects, or securities that would generate interest from international institutional investors. I think when you look at um, the standard definition of, a, of an international institutional investor interested in real estate, it, the usual buzzwords come into play. You look at yield, you look at diversification, you look at these days inflation protection. When you translate this into a, an emerging market context, uh, investors move from yield to growth. And this is exactly what um, the region and companies in the region can actually offer. Sure. And uh, then it becomes a question, how can, you, how can you, can, you can structure a, a product, product for us as a security, uh, which would then be attractive to institutional investors. And on the Western world, you have quite a wide uh, range of, of, uh, of products, quite a wide range of options to invest in as, mm -hmm. as an institutional investor. Um, it used to be usually um, the the example we, we give is uh, it used to be like coffee. You used to have options uh -huh. in uh, you know, sugar, or sugar or yes. no sugar, <laughs> milk, no milk. Today you go to, to the, to the uh, coffee shops and you have like this full menu of, of options. It's exactly the same in investing in real estate. But that's in developed markets. Right. In our part of the world, the, the range is, is slightly uh, shorter and it carries with it a completely different risk. So as an institutional investor, investing in a listed real estate security comes with much less risk mm -hmm. than an unlisted real and estate. And less profit, yeah. A and uh, the, the equation between risk and return is not always there. So you may have um, instruments in the market that for um, the same risk mm -hmm. have a completely different return dynamic and vice versa. So uh, trying to package all that for institutional investors is quite a challenge. And it's also quite a, a challenge within the context of the, uh, the local uh, laws and regulations, because you always have to, to comply That's with those. That's the next topic. <laughs> <laughs> How much of uh, a problem are they? Um, for the capital market transactions that a bank like Credit Suisse would focus on, um, the uh, institutional framework is there. It has been tested to a large extent. Mm -hmm. There's still a lot of uh, details to be finalized, particularly when it comes to debt and, and quasi-debt instruments. The, uh, the framework is there. Um, and in the latest, in the recent developments with, with a number of corporates in the region, we have tested how solid that, that framework is. Uh, some of it was modified as part of, of, the, of the recent uh, uh, debt rescheduling that has taken place across the region. Uh, and I think now investors have comfort that a listed security is indeed a available and, and suitable for international institutional investors. Um, when it comes, when, when you leave the, um, the public market and you go into the private market, mm -hmm. there is significant room for flexibility, the definition of a private market. Uh, but at the same time, there is much less comfort from international investors about uh, governance, about transparency, about how a transaction can be structured that would enable them to get a risk versus return equation that would make sense not only in the context of the region, but also in the context of the rest of the American market. For their markets. partners so and others, exactly, yeah, exactly. exactly. Well, <laughs> are, are the good guys winning? <laughs> <laughs> um, we are seeing uh, quite some innovative structures, both for public and for private uh, instruments. Uh, and we expect the diversity of those instruments to expand in, in the region. And we expect the interest of institutional investors to increase. We already see um, interest coming towards our way. Uh, Egypt is, is a pretty hot Since topic. Since last this year. Days. Yes, yes. Egypt is a pretty hot topic in, in the first quarter of, of this year. Uh, we've seen a number of equity transactions out of Egypt. It's effectively um, offers to institutional investors exposure on the, um, the underlying fundamental of the market and the clear imbalance between supply and demand. 
enhance offering them the growth that they would want exposure to vis-a-vis um, -vis the, the risk that they're undertaking.